All right, first grade, this week we are moving on to drawing a new bird. You are going to be learning about the hummingbird. Before we go too far though, I would like to show you some of our really good eagle examples from the last week or from the week we drew our eagles, which was the week before. So these are our these are some of our good eagle examples. Thank you, friends. All right, before we begin, you're going to need paper like your sketchbook, pencil and eraser, coloring supplies, and your stem journal. That is new. We're going to start making some art notes in our STEM journals. Your learning targets. I can observe basic shapes in nature to help with my drawing. And I can draw a bird with good proportions. You guys are going to be drawing a bird today called the Ruby Throated Hummingbird. Now, I'll bet you could figure out why he's called the Ruby Throated Hummingbird because he's got all that red on his neck. Good job. So if you've learned anything about hummingbirds, you know that they're actually very small. I'm gonna turn my camera back up. And if you were to able to see a hummingbird, really, it's about the size of my thumb. They're not very big. And I'd love to tell you a story about hummingbirds. My mom has a nice little hummingbird garden outside of her house, uh, or upside, uh, up, up in um, the mountains. And one day I was sitting out on the porch and I heard all of this, but I heard so much buzzing and I thought, oh no, there must be like a lot of bees nearby. And I got kind of nervous and then I looked over and there were about four or five hummingbirds in her garden. But when they were all together, they made so much noise. It sounded like a bunch of bees. I was oh, it was kind of nervous. It was kind of scary, but then I just saw there were hummingbirds and they're so pretty. So we're going to be drawing hummingbirds. And this is a, a good picture to look at. It's going to be our example. And before we go too much farther, so the reason we're going to do our, we needed our STEM journal is on one, on a new piece of, on a new paper in your STEM journal, you're going to write art and then draw a small drawing of the eagle, a hummingbird, and a woodpecker. Then in your sketchbook, you're going to do the large picture. So let's look at what I'm talking about here. So we've got, I've got my, I call it my STEAM, but you guys only have it as your STEM journal. But we're going to open up your page and just find some place that you can draw something on. It doesn't have to be a huge page. Remember, these are just going to be small versions. So I've already drawn, and I drew, and I wrote the words art birds. You guys don't need to draw, worry about that slide. That's what third grade was working on. So. I drew the word, or I wrote the words art birds, and then I drew a woodpecker. I drew my eagle, and then I'm going now. I'm going to draw just real fast to show you, but we're going to do more. Don't worry. Start off with the. I'm going to make the. I'm going to make a triangle. Make that long beak. He's got teeny little feet. that's going to be the red part of his throat. Now, again, this is just a tiny little version of our hummingbird. We're going to draw the big one in our sketchbook, but I am going to write hummingbird up there. And then we've got little tails, not much. So that's just a small version. In this, we're going to draw the big one. So remember, in your art stem, uh, sorry, in your stem journal, draw this. If you are some of my friends who already drew these two, then just find a place to add your hummingbird. All right, so let's work in our sketchbook now. So I'm going to actually hold my paper sideways this time because it's going to help get everything in it. So. In the past, we've been starting with a circle. Today, we're going to start with an oval. 
we're still going to have our rectangle, but it's going to be a little bit smaller because they don't have very long tails. And we're going to draw a small circle inside. So in the past, we've had the big circle on top of the oval. This time we're just going to draw one here and then we're going to draw an oval there because hummingbirds have a different body proportion from our other birds. They're small. They're really small compared to the other birds. Then we're still going to do the long triangle because they kind of have beaks like the woodpecker. And we're going to draw a long triangle, one there. And on this side, we're just going to draw the top. Now I'm going to erase some of these lines. Pay attention to what I erase first. I'm going to erase this large outside oval. And anything that I accidentally erase, I can just draw it again. Ta-da! Now I'm going to erase the inside of this oval because that's part of the wing. I'm going to pick this up so you can see this. I'm going to draw a line that connects that side and this side because that's our neck. I'm going to erase. And there. I'm going to fix up that because it's a little sketchy. And I erased that part. I need to fix his body back there. There we go. Now the last thing I need to really work on is this beak. So I want to come back. I want to make sure that that beak comes back to his head. So, we've you guys have done this before. This isn't really that much new stuff to you. So now we're going to add the eye. And we're going to make his ruby colored throat area. It's really just a triangle. Kind of starts underneath his beak. It does kind of look like he has a bib on. He's not really a baby, but kind of looks like it. And he's got a white stomach. And we're going to draw some tiny little feet, because his tiny little feet are going to be up there next to his body. So we're going to draw those tiny little feet like we did that first time. And then one, two, and three. Now we got to make these wings look more like wings. First, at the bottom, we're going to go and make the bumps. And you can make these wings, or these, I'm sorry, feathers look like they're long. And then I'm going to do the same thing along here after I fix the ones at the bottom. So, I'm going to do the same thing up here. Now, just bumpy lines down one side because those are where the feathers are. And, believe it or not, I've got to erase that part because now it's going to look like the wings are coming up And I need to fix it on the other side. So once you've done drawing your hummingbird, go ahead and add anything else that you'd like to around him. Like in my picture, I drew that he's got, he's going to be eating from a flower. Like that. So you can add a flower. You can draw trees in the background if you'd like. I could put, there's the ground. Alright, so go ahead and work on your uh, hummingbird and when you are getting them colored, you're going to need green. I'm going to use a light green, then I'm going to use a, there's my darker green, then a red color. And they actually have black beaks. 
and little black feet. So I don't really have to do anything for the white part because their stomachs are white. So he's got black eyes. He's got those. His throat, like we said, is ruby or red colored. Now I'm going to do the dark green in places where the bottom of the feather is. Just to make it look like it's got a little bit of shadow. And I'll do the same thing on this side. And down here. And we'll give just a little bit of dark green near his wings. Now the rest of him, I'm actually going to do kind of a light green. Because they are actually a couple of different colors of green. They've got light greens and dark greens on them. They kind of need to blend in with flowers and tree and a uh, not trees, the flower bushes. So they have lots of different greens on them. Ta -da! And then you can finish up the background and you are good. I love to see your pictures when you have it on Seesaw.